Sometimes shapes are special types or subcategories of other shapes. In this lesson, you'll learn how to categorize two-dimensional shapes. Let's look at trapezoid as an example. So this is the image many people think of when they think of a trapezoid. It has one pair of parallel sides, at least. But remember, the definition of a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. So can you think of some other shapes that you've seen with at least one pair of parallel sides? Let's look at a square. Is it a special type or subcategory of trapezoid? Let's see. A trapezoid, by definition, has at least one pair of parallel lines. Does a square have at least one pair of parallel sides? Yes, it actually has two pairs of parallel sides. So that means a square is a special type or subcategory of trapezoid. Let's look at a rectangle. Is it a special type or subcategory of trapezoid? Well, let's see. A trapezoid, by definition, has at least one pair of parallel sides. Does a rectangle have at least one pair of parallel sides? Yes, it actually has two pairs of parallel sides as well. So that means a rectangle is a special type or subcategory of trapezoid. Let's look at a rhombus. Is it a special type or subcategory of trapezoid? Well, let's see. Remember, a trapezoid by definition has at least one pair of parallel sides. Does a rhombus have at least one pair of parallel sides? Yes. It actually has two pairs of parallel sides. So that means a rhombus is a special type or subcategory of trapezoid. Let's look at a parallelogram. Is it a special type or subcategory of trapezoid? Well, let's see. Remember, a trapezoid by definition has at least one pair of parallel sides. Does a parallelogram have at least one pair of parallel sides? Yes, it actually has two pairs of parallel sides. So that means a parallelogram is a special type or subcategory of trapezoid. Let's look at a kite. Is it a special type or subcategory of trapezoid? Well, let's see. A trapezoid by definition has at least one pair of parallel sides. Does a parallelogram have at least one pair of parallel sides? Hmm. No, a kite has at least two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal. You can see that it does not have at least one pair of parallel sides. So that means a kite is not a special type or subcategory of trapezoid. This means that square, rectangle, rhombus, and parallelogram are all subcategories or special types of trapezoid. The kite is not a subcategory of trapezoid, but it is a type of quadrilateral. Now you know that some shapes are special types or subcategories of other shapes. Thanks for watching.